Hi, we are Family Val Expedition. Uh, we are a family of four members. We have a boy and a girl, three and five. And this is our camper van, uh, Iveco Daily 4x4. And we've been traveling since 2021 through Europe, uh, Iceland, Morocco, Canary Islands, and last year we hit the, the States and Canada. And this year we're heading towards Central America. And today we want to do a van tour and David, my husband, will show you the interior. Well, here we have the front where there's the controls, gears, locks and so on. Let's start with the steering wheel. We have the steering wheel, we have automatic gear shift, it has 8 speeds and with the reducer it becomes 16. Then we can look at the air conditioning controls and so on. Here we have the locks which are center lock, rear lock, front lock, the reducer and here we have a button to stop the fan in case you wade in water. Here we have the battery disconnect and here to activate the battery again. And here on the dashboard we have these two lights which are the two LED panels we have in front and here one for the back and one for the right side. It has four cup holders, all electric, electric mirrors. The lift isn't electric. And on the right side we have the same. Once we've seen the front part, we're going to move on to the dining area. As you can see, we have the two seats that rotate. Well, here you can see that the two seats are turned around into dining mode. The table that we've squeezed in here, an extendable for the one who eats on this side, and it is, as you can see, a very large dining room. Here we have the subject of mosquito nets and blackouts. We put the table away. And once seated, we are left with a very spacious dining room. We chose this format because we have two small children and we have a very wide and very broad corridor here so that the children can play when it is raining or cold. That way they have a little more space. If we put the kitchen in front of us, it took up a lot of space and we didn't like it. We opted for this one basically for the kids. And apart from carrying the double seat that we have here, we have these two guides that I'll leave you a picture with the fifth seat mounted. We can put a fifth seat in the guides. So we have three seats in the back and two in the front. So there would be five spots for travel and we have six beds for sleeping that I'll show you later. In the dining area, as you see, the company Cultura Camper from Barcelona made this for us. They do excellent work and we really liked how everything turned out. Here we have some shelves for books where we usually keep them. Here we have the connectors which are USB of 1A and 2A. Here, as you see. It's imperative to bring the connectors. Moving on to the closet area. We have security locks because in the 4X4 we've already stored little things here. And we have four closets. One is for the boy, for the girl, and these two are for food. Here we have the kitchen area. We decided on an L-shaped layout because it gives a lot of space to work with. Here we can work to cut and prepare food. Here we cook. We have two TED4 brand stoves. As you see, they have a very nice finish and they've served us very well. One of the important things we wanted was a big and deep sink so we could clean everything properly. This has worked out very well for us here. Besides that, we have the dining room window and we use the tap for an outdoor shower. 
We use it as a shower. It has hot and cold water. The tap is easy to use and it works really well for us. Then we've got these extra things. We have these magnetic cups that we can use on the 4x4 while we're driving. They don't fall off. And here's a place to put our spices that also has a magnet on the lid so that it sticks to the wall. It works really well. I'll leave a link to all of these products in the description below. They're from Nautica for 4x4, but they're also useful for 4x4 and caravanning. We've also got a 220 plug on the wall and a 12 volt outlet. As you can see, it's a very spacious kitchen to work in. And the dining area is also very spacious so that we can relax here and eat. Let's close it up. In the front, we have a very large closet with various things in it. Various things. It's really great. It also has a safety lock. And one of the best things about the camper is the pop-up roof with a skylight, as you can see here. And in the upstairs bed, which is one of the biggest we have, it's about 2 meters by 1.5 meters. Then I'll show you the dining room. Here in the dining room, we put the staircase. Now I'm going to put it up for you to see. And since we climbed up, we only assembled it in night mode. And when we don't, well, we keep it stored here under the seat or here behind it. We keep it stored here behind the seats. I'm going to set up the mode to go up. Well, that's how the staircase looks in night mode. It's very comfortable. You can see it's here. You can be sitting. It doesn't bother you. Well, it bothers this one a little, but you can be sitting. And the ladder can be in place in case someone climbs up. But we only assemble it when we're going to sleep. And as you can see, here we have the bed. With what is the skylight and how good the panels are with total opening which makes a very good space here we have a panoramic view and here we also have the They have a mosquito net, and if you want, you can open it completely, and it ventilates much better. Is that clear? Pass the breeze over here, and you can see that we've got a big and spectacular bed. Like I said, two meters by about 1.40 something. You can really get a good night's sleep here. Let's go down. Let's drop this topic. At least this one. All right, just to tell you that. All right, I'm going to close this out. So that's what the pop-up roof looks like on the outside. As you can see, it has the opening here. It's half of a van. And on the top, which we'll go up to, we've got the and a chest. The pop-up roof is made by Ramo. It's a high volume roof for, well, a high volume van. All right, you can see what it is. Really good, and it is, the van looks spectacular. All right, we're still inside. We've already seen the roof in the front. I'm going to remove the ladder. The seat that turns into a bed. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the table off and turn it into a bed. Just a second, okay? So here we have the seat without the table here. 
and we've got these safety buttons that are the ones that secure the seat and we can move it forward. I'll do it, so here we see the seat already set up. In bed mode, it's about 1 meter 80 long, it's for one person. We'll set aside those bits and as you can see, a person fits calmly, stretched out in bed. It's for one person in the front. We don't use it currently because here we have the children's seats. The children's seats that they still use and don't currently use. We use this one, which is the child's bed. This one, which is the double bed and the double bed upstairs too. I'm also going to set up dining mode again. It's set up. It doesn't take a minute to set up again. You haven't seen it, but it took me a minute. We'll keep going to the back. We've seen the roof, the theme, the wardrobes. Here we have lighting, two on the ceiling, and ambient lighting around the entire perimeter of the cupboards. It works great because it gives us a lot of light inside the closet at night. But it's not visible because it's daytime, but it gives us ample light, and it's ambient light. Here is the control panel where we can connect connect the water, connect the back fan, which we'll see later. Then there's the camper battery level, vehicle battery level, clean water issue, and for the lighting we've got heating here, which is, uh, I can't remember now, I'll put it in English since the video we're making is in English. And we've got a place where we put the children's books, it works really well, a 220 socket and a 5 volt socket for mobiles, and then the fridge, we open the fridge. We have a very large fridge from Isotherm. Let's see if you can see it. Yes, okay, it's very big. It's 110 liters. And I couldn't say how many liters the freezer is, but it works for us. I don't know where the freezer lid is right now. Well, here goes the freezer. Three shelves and a drawer for vegetables and so on. And here the bottles and smaller things are very good for us from the Isotherm brand. 110 liters. Okay, we have seen the kitchen issue. We have the drawers for sure. Also here the whole issue of cooking utensils. And in the last one, well, first aid kit material, wipes. Okay, in this part we have shelves. That is where we take the router for the starling. Here drawers, more drawers. And here we have the first thing different from what is the motorhome, the caravan. Let's see what I put here. That we have the child's bed, the bed, okay. Measuring 1.40 by about 70, which is a typical child bed with the advantage that we have in this part of here, a wardrobe that serves us for his bed linen, his clothes and so on. And with the good thing that when he gets older, we can cancel it and it will become a 1.85 meter bed. Okay, we cancel the wardrobe and we put the mattress all the way and it will become a 1.85 bed. This is where the child sleeps and we also use it a lot to sit when we are cooking or to rest. When we're resting, we sit here like on a couch. The other one's sitting over there. The kids are either in the seats or they're playing around here. It's a very versatile area and it suits us very well. There are a lot of people who don't like it, but we like it a lot. Here we have the two hot air vents that connect over here. And we have these two and an outlet in the bathroom. Let's see the bathroom, the fire extinguishers. Of course, I'm a firefighter and now they're here, but they're usually behind. I'm going to move aside so that you can see better. Here we have the last hot air outlet and we have a shower feature. With its cold water faucet, hot water, window for ventilation and lighting. And one of the jewels of this van is that we have an incinerator toilet, which is a Cinderella, which burns all the waste that goes in there. It has to go to the controller. It's very easy to use. 
You just have to go to the bathroom, put a piece of paper. We have them here. I'll show you. We put the paper in, it's ready. We go to the bathroom and when we're done, we close it and flush the toilet. Instead of water, the door opens. It goes to a crematorium and burns everything. The good thing about it, now I'll show you how it works. The family of four of us, it lasts about a month. Here, when it's burning, the orange light comes on. We have two lights and we have the shower curtain, which is secured with Velcro. This protects the bathroom perfectly. It's very large, you fit perfectly, and there's ample room to use the toilet in comfort. There's four fingers of space between me and the wall. Let's go to the bathroom and I'll show you where the crematorium is. Well, we open and here we have what is the crematorium compartment and this is where everything is burned. This, roughly, for you to understand, it's 25 by 25 centimeters or 25 in diameter and it lasts about a month. For the four of us, it's perfect. It is put in as it is and it can now be lowered and is ready to use. It's green so it's ready to use. It's going really well. It's one of the things we'll put in the next van, if we have one. As you can see, the design is also really nice in black and white. Here we have a perspective of the van. To go to the back bed, yes, you have to step on this bed. Some people say that you step on the child. No, you don't step on it because the child is sleeping here, so you look for a place to step. Just one step and you're on the bed. You're stretched out. And as you can see, I'm going to put my head down and look at what I'm missing. I don't reach. It will be about two meters. Okay, this bed is also about two meters by one meter forty-five. As you can see here, this is an expansion that we did this year. Before, I didn't have what are called the outer flasks, and they were essential for us. We have one on this side and one on this side. Okay, we have reading lights on each side with a USB port, and here for clothes, mine and my wife's clothes. And then we have the typical clear boy which I think is called a max fan. Okay, I am going to turn it on opening. We'll open it. I'm going to connect it. It's connected through this. And now it's working at full capacity and you can put air in or take it out. Now it's connected as a fan and it's very much appreciated. The truth is that it's going super well here in the bed. I carry a smoke detector in case there's a fire in the upper part of the ceiling, which is where it will beep first because the smoke accumulates at the top. And as you can see, the bed is quite wide. Okay, here we have the extension on one side, what we have won. And on the other side, we have won the same. And then he has also shown us under the bed is a chest where we carry surfboards, which is what is underneath. Surfboard, kiteboard, the rods, and different utensils. 
Okay, here I have to also connect the boiler that I have here. Hot water that works on gas. 12 volts and nothing, we're almost leaving. Uh, we've already seen the entire inside. We still have to see the garage. We're going to see the garage and then we'll do uh, the exterior part. Well, here we have the garage part, which is also very large. This is where we have the bed. And everything that is the rest is garage. It will be more or less one and a half meters high. And well, there are different shelves, but this is where we take the wing boards that we already have custom made. And I'll show you nothing. Here is the trap door where the whole electrical issue is. This is the Cinderella, which is the back. It pulls air from bellow. As you can see, there's a hole. It pulls air over here. It goes to the crematory and throws it to the chimney that we're going to see above. Okay, it's very safe. And well, here we carry the whole electrical issue. Chargers, I'll tell you more or less what we carry. We carry two lithium batteries of 150 amps, that is 300 lithium. Here we have two rails where we put the fifth seat that goes here when we don't use it. On this trip, we didn't need it, so we left it at home. But if we don't have it here in case a friend of the kids or the grandmother comes. Here we have a spare wheel with slings, shackles, pulley, jacks, oil, first aid kit, and well, and other stuff, it's well hidden. And it's a wheel that weighs a lot, and I can raise and lower it alone. It'd be worth bringing it at the door. Typical of four wheel drives, we carry it here, this way. It's 80 kilos of wheel. I raise it here, I raise it here, and it gets in here in its place. And well hidden and very integrated into everything. Then we have not got the two LPG gas canisters here that are filled from the outside, as we're going to see water inlet and LPG gas input that we can fill at any gas station. Or for example here, it has an adapter that I'll show you and it can be connected easily. The adapter is this one, it's screwed on. And here's screwed on what is the gas hose. We carry two bottles of, I think they're 12 liters each, but there's two liters that are for the safety of the bottle. They last us easily for a month, a month and a bit. They last us without using much. With the LPG, we use the Cinderella, which is the bathroom for cooking, meaning to cook the Cinderella and the burner for hot water which here we have the exhaust and what is the apparatus, we carry it down here. This is the burner for the hot water thermos, which is eight liters of hot water, which also combined with the cold water, well, it lasts us a long time. And as we can see, the issue of space is very important to us, and here we fit a lot of things. We carry sports equipment for paddle surfing, kites, wing foil, and here we fit everything. I have here an outlet of 220, which is also essential for charging things, a light for when it's nighttime, and nothing. You can see there's a lot of space. Now we're going to do the exterior. As you can see, we have the ladder. It wanders on top of it, and now we're going to see everything. Well, on the outside, I'll show you all around so you can see the entire exterior of the van. We've added these wheels from Dock this year, which are aluminum rims, and the tires are 37 by 12.5 with a 17 inch radius. They're all terrain tires, good for snow and mud that served us very well on this trip. It's true that they did increase our fuel consumption by about three liters per hundred kilometers. We also fitted the tires, the snorkel, because we cross several rivers in Iceland. It is not necessary for water. The height of the vehicle is 66 centimeters. More or less right here, but always better to have for clean air, and so on. And the last thing we did this year was add the exterior flasks. Let's continue with the exterior lap. We have an electric winch. You can see it here. It's from Warn. 
It's the Evo VR and it's rated for 5,500 kilos. It's weighing us down by that amount now. I carry the pulleys just in case it has to be geared down. We also carry the bumper, which is from Iveco, that has to be ordered before buying the vehicle so that everything is easier. You can see that it gives it a very nice look. All this comes standard on the vehicle. We haven't done anything externally to it, no suspension lift or anything. It has what is the oil pan guard, which we see here. Here we see the entire front suspension system with torsion bars. Then I'll explain the running boards it has that have been very useful to us on some occasions when we have hit a rock. And with the running board, you have the vehicle protected. The rear also, as you can see, we are already missing the side covers and they are a little bent, which we have hit before. I'll leave you pictures so you can see that we're not going for a walk. We don't go four-wheeling, we go to travel, and if we come across a bump or something difficult, we pass it. And on this side, as we have seen, it has the LPG inlet, which carries 100 liters of water. We don't carry much, but the truth is that we have enough. We can shower, the four of us, for about two days, and then the issue of dishes, and so it lasts more or less a week if we don't overdo it much. Well, I haven't explained it to you, but this is the outlet of the extractor hood I'm going to show you now. It's also going very well. So the fumes are already coming out, and at the top we have what is the cow, the Cinderella outlet, which is this chimney here and a chest. And normally here, we take the paddle surf, we take them upstairs. This van has as standard the three locks that are the center, rear, and front, they're pneumatic, activated with a button that we've already seen in front, and nothing. It hasn't given us any problems and has gotten us out of quite a few complicated situations. It has a light and a smoke extractor. It works really well and we use it a lot when we cook. As you can see, the height of the van is about 1 meter, 1 meter 20 up to here. If you fall from up there, you have to be careful. When we started, we had a guardrail here for the children. The youngest was one year old and the oldest was three. We still have a guardrail, but now they know better. They've never fallen from here, but you have to keep an eye on them, since it's quite a distance to the ground. And here ends our van tour. Leave us comments if you like it, or if you don't like it, or if you would add something else, or if you think it's ridiculous to have a carbon snorkel, which a lot of people criticize us for. It's fine if you think the wheels are ridiculous or whatever. These three changes we've made, we wouldn't do anything else now. It's perfect to our taste. Let's go to the roof and see if the top is burning from the sun. And you can see here, this is Cinderella's chimney and the chest we carry has to be watched when you're walking around here. And the pop-up roof we have right now, raised with a 180 plate. We can see it. The only thing we have to change is this which we're going to replace with a whole two 180S or one or two 200S basically here. You see camper culture, they're responsible for converting the vehicle into a camper and that's it, our van tour ends here. Well, that's the end of our adventure. I hope you liked it. And yeah, if you have any comments, you can leave them at the bottom of the video and I hope you tell us a lot whether you liked it or not and everything you think. See you later, bye.